What's going on YouTube? This is Hero Stormwolf, and welcome to another video. I'm going to be talking about a little bit about how digital distribution has kind of really put forward a lot of foreign games that we've been able to enjoy recently. Uh, for those who have who've been gaming for quite a while since before PlayStation era or PlayStation 2 era, I should say, you know that back then we didn't get too many games. Uh, such as the Tales of games or games like Fairy Fencer F, and I'm just using these names as examples, not exactly these titles, but you get what I'm saying. We didn't get a lot of these foreign games um, brought up to the States, even though we really wanted to play them and there was a general interest in them. Reason being is because these games cost money to not only translate but to localize and to ship out into the States. That stuff costs money and more times they believe that it was not worth it, and to a certain extent that's true because the games here in the states are a niche crowd they're not going to sell you know the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of copies that they would like to sell so they would probably feel like they're wasting money by translating localizing and shipping over into the states these days however with digital distribution and with steam being as big as it is now you definitely see a lot more of these games coming over to the states and also coming out on pc for example the game previous to what you're seeing now fairy fencer f and way of the samurai 4 you wouldn't think to see these games on uh, PC, let alone digital distribution. If you would have asked me back then in the PlayStation 2 era would we see these type of games, I would have told you no and laughed in your face. Now it's becoming more and more common. Good example, Tales of Symphonia is coming out on PC and so is Tales of Zitra, or excuse me, Zestri, uh, Zestiria, excuse me, uh, yeah, Zestiria. That game's also coming out on PC. And again, you wouldn't expect these type of games back then in the day where Everything was pretty much digital distribution. Even if you, or even if a PC gamer, you still bought PC or physical PC copies. It's more prevalent on PC, of course, because that's how PC is set up with Steam. But more often than not, you bought a digital copy of games that you wanted to play. Especially for like JRPGs and very foreign games, you just don't see them coming over to the states. I'm excited for this, and as much as I don't like digital distribution personally. I can see the good in it, such as things like this. So I hope we see more things like uh, Fairy Fencer F, Way of the Samurai 4, more Tales games coming over to PC, uh, Yakuza, that series is coming out. I think it's digital distribution only now. So you're really going to see a lot more of these games coming out as digital releases. And I can't say I'm mad at it. It's definitely a good way for us to play the games we want to play and for them to still make a profit by you know bring it over into the digital store so they don't have to worry about physical copies and distribution to local retailers and stuff like that they can just put it up on the store pay whatever fee they have to and make their money that way and it's all profit because you can't actually buy used digital games so for them it's all 100 percent profit excuse me 100 percent profit and a lot more worth it to actually bring these games over well what do you think do you think this is good for us gamers here to enjoy foreign games such as way to samurai 4 fairy fencer f tales of symphonia or any other tales games uh do you think this will put your faith more in digital distribution is there any games that you want to come out uh let me know in the comments below so we can discuss it have a you know discussion about it i'm just stumbling over words but i will catch you guys in the next video later